This is Earth Radio. And now here's human music. Alright team, welcome back. We just got back from our holiday around the East Cape and we thought we'd quickly share with you sort of five things that we reckon you should check out when you're on the East Cape of the North Island of New Zealand. Uh, just five things you shouldn't miss. The first thing is... The lighthouse. It was an awesome drive out there on a gravel road. It was pretty well maintained considering. Um, there's a good turning bay at the end if you've got a larger rig and the views from the top were pretty incredible. Yeah, it's a bit of a climb up, like there's a 800 odd steps to get up to the lighthouse, but I reckon it's well worth well worth going out there. 25 kilometer gravel road, I think, but definitely worth the trip. And the campground out there is amazing as well, mm. right on the beach. Pretty secluded, really nice spot. The second thing I would recommend, <laughs> thanks mate, the second thing I would recommend is get up and watch a sunrise. Even if you're not a morning person, the sunrises on the East Cape are incredible. Um, it's among sort of the first spot, you know, you're among the first people in New Zealand to see the sunrise each day and man, it's just like a big ball of fire coming out of the ocean. So definitely get some sunrises and sunsets there as well, depending on which side of the coast you're on can be quite incredible. So definitely check those out. Uh, number three is Tarapuri Bay. Um, we went on the ecology reef tour there and that was amazing getting up close and personal with the stingrays and the kingfish they were huge and pretty cool to see how close you could get to them um, and seeing them in their natural habitat as well was amazing definitely highly recommend that for anyone going in that area I think it was about $40 a person wasn't it um, to go on the tour but it was probably it was over an hour and I don't think you'd ever get the chance to get sort of that up close with um stingrays in the wild in New Zealand anywhere. You might see them in an aquarium or something, but to be able to actually touch them and pat them and, and learn about them was um, was well worth the money. So the fourth thing that I would recommend is the Tolaga Bay and Tokamaru Bay wharfs. Um, they're two old historic wharfs in New Zealand that uh, were used years ago to load sheep onto boats. Uh, one's been restored, the other one's actually closed off, but you can kind of stop at both. Both have car parks, toilets, um, they just really need to check out a really neat bit of New Zealand's history. Um, Tolaga Bay Wharf is actually the longest wharf, wharf, wharf of its kind in the um, southern hemisphere, so that's quite neat. You can fish off the end, there are kids swimming off the end. Um, yeah, just great, great sort of historic landmarks to check out. The last thing I reckon you should check out when you're in the East Cape is Anauda Bay. Now it's a small bay between Tolaga Bay, Tolaga Bay down here, Tokamaru Bay, Anauda Bay is in the middle. It is quite tempting to stay in either Tolaga Bay or Tokamaru Bay. Um, there's freedom camping in both those places, but Anauda Bay was probably one of the most beautiful places we stayed on the whole trip. Definitely my favourite campsite of the mm. time, yeah. Yeah, definitely. There's a dock campsite there. It was four or five or six dollars a night, I think. We were the only ones there when we stayed there. The whole beach to ourselves. Um, there's native birds that nest on the on the beach there and it was it was just beautiful um, I wish we had a few more days there one of the few dock sites as well that allow dogs mm. um, So yeah, it was nice being able to take them along to somewhere so close to the beach. Yeah, definitely All right, thanks guys for Checking out the uh, top five things we recommend that you should do on New Zealand's East Cape It's a beautiful spot and I reckon it's well worth um the time to drive around there it's remote it's scenic it's, it's just an amazing place to camp and to, to get away from sort of towns half the time you don't have cell phone reception so uh, that's quite neat as well it's just you and the beach and the kids and the dogs and and uh, you know a, a true sort of Kiwi holiday so that's a, a lovely spot to visit um, I'll pop a link at the end of this video for the four-part series we did, um, just documenting our travels around from Opotiki down to Gisborne. So if you want to check it out in more detail, here you go.